The NIT quarterfinals take place Tuesday night when the Wisconsin Badgers take on the Oregon Ducks. Wisconsin just defeated Liberty in the second round, winning at home 75-71 as four-point favorites. In other words, a push. Oregon took down UCF in their previous game, 68-54, easily covering the two-and-a-half-point spread. Wisconsin was 2-0 against the Pac-12 this season as they defeated Stanford and USC. Oregon's lone Big Ten game was a loss to Michigan State. Tip-off for this one is 9 p.m. Eastern from Matthew Knight Arena in Eugene, Oregon. can be found on ESPN. The Badgers got to host their first two matchups on the NIT tournament, defeating both Bradley and Liberty. This will be their first matchup on the road as they meet Oregon in the NIT quarterfinals. Wisconsin was down one with under two minutes to go against Liberty, but strong free throw shooting and a late layup by Max Klesman helped seal the four-point victory. The Badgers were led by guard Chucky Hepburn with 27 points in the win. The Oregon Ducks will host this NIT quarterfinal, and if they win, the semifinals will be played at the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas. Oregon won the first two rounds at home, defeating UC Irvine and UCF, and have won their last four home games dating back to Pac-12 play on March 2nd. In their most recent game, the Ducks were led by center Nate Biddle with 21 points and 13 boards in the win over UCF. Oregon has been taking advantage of smaller schools while their top players have been out of the lineup. Against UCF, Oregon's top three scorers, Dante, Cuisinart, and Richardson, did not play due to injuries. They are all listed as day-to-day, -day, but it is hard to say which players will go and how healthy they will be. Motivation may be a concern as well. If this was the NCAA tournament, players may be more willing to play injured than they are in the NIT. Wisconsin does not have any injury concerns with their top four players. They all played in their last game and played major minutes. Chucky Hepburn was, has been playing well at this point, and Stephen Kroll has been dominating the paint, including his 36-point game in the first round. Now, if Dante does not play, then Kroll will have a major, huge advantage inside. I'm going to take the healthier team to get the points in this one. I'm going to take Wisconsin, plus the four and a half. For a total... As I said, Oregon's top three players have injury issues, and Wisconsin is playing far from home. This game will go under. These teams also play slow. Wisconsin has one of the slowest paces of play in the nation, and their tempo is ranked 342nd. Oregon is in the bottom half of the country in pace as well, ranking 205th. Oregon has gone under the total in their last three with their new lineup. Wisconsin's past six have had totals listed lower than 134, signifying the types of scoring that are expected in this in their games. All these signs combined point to an easy under in the NIT quarters. Give me under 134 and a half. So the two players we're going to go with Wisconsin plus four and a half, and also under 134 and a half. What say you? Let me know. Comment section below.